Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about a technique by which you can get a better control or better control on your model, the linear regression model that we have been discussing in my previous videos by doing by creating more and more training and testing data. So what I meant by that is if you have seen my previous videos, I have used this strategy dividing the uh, data into training and testing and why it is helpful is because uh, first we train the model on you know certain portion of the data so in this case uh, on the 70 percent of the data we are training our model and on the rest of the 30 percent data we are testing this in this way before actually you move on you know working on the real data we are exposing our data set on that rest 30% of the data and trying to see whether the model is predicting as per the expected expectations and we do that by testing the uh, you know the different metrics like mean absolute error or RMSC or uh, others you know that I have discussed in my previous videos so here just to quickly review the code I am giving you an idea what I have already shown you in previous videos that uh, first of all we have gone ahead and imported the linear regression from sklearn.linear model then we have gone ahead and imported the train test split from sklearn.cross validation and then from sklearn.datasets we have loaded the boston data set to predict the house prices and uh, from the sklearn.metrics we have gone and picked up the mean absolute error as to test how well our uh, prediction is doing when we compare with the test data so now we are going ahead and loading the data after you have loaded the data set you we need to use the train test split to split the data so what we are using is boston dot data which is all the x variable and boston dot target which is all the y variables and then the train size is basically we are saying that 70 percent data should be used on the training and rest of the 30 percent on testing after that we are initializing the linear regression fitting the linear regression with the x train and y train data predicting it uh, with the help of the x data and then identifying the accuracy with the help of the metric mean absolute error so let's go ahead and execute this so once we execute this you can see that mean absolute error is 3.38 now the issue is that you are only looking at one set of data so what you have uh, what what I mean by that is 70% uh, of the data is in training and the rest of the 30% is testing. So if I visualize this, you can better understand. So if I go to my Excel sheet, so what I have here is basically the same representation. If you can ignore these numbers for a moment, what I'll do is I will just uh, make it white. Or maybe delete it for, for a moment so what I mean by this is uh, this this particular section is basically you can think of 70% of your data used in training and this 30% uh, is basically the testing so that's like just one picture of the data wouldn't it be nice if this 30% is like shifting here then here and then here a couple of times based on you specify that I want to shift it like 10% so that you are basically iterating all of that data uh, by splitting it into training and testing and then creating the average accuracy how it helps us is basically uh, when you are doing the training and testing split strategy with this uh, math with this way where you are changing the test side anywhere between the training data by taking that portion then you are basically moving around on the entire data set and you can get a different accuracy scores and once you average it you get an idea about the entire data that what an overall accuracy score is and this will then further help that uh, if you are let's say want to predict with the linear regression or with some other type of regression like random forest regression or any other regression method then you can compare these methodologies 
as well as for uh, hyperparameter tuning where you identify whether adding or removing a particular parameter really helps these accuracy scores when you iterate it on the entire data really helps you and gives you a more finer control on your model so if i just go ahead and press ctrl z so what i am showing over showing over here is is that we are if i just change the color to black okay so what we are changing what we are saying over here is that uh, let's divide the data set into uh, in a way where you have uh, the testing 10 times in a data set so this is the one so if i unhide this and then as you can see the testing is shifting over here then here then here so that way the data set the testing has iterated multiple times on the entire data set and once you average it it gives you a much better control and that's what i meant by that so that's that's a representation the pictorial representation and this is uh, achieved by using the cross validation into the uh, or a cross validation score into the uh, python scikit learn so let's go ahead and execute that so from scale learn dot cross validation import cross well score that's what you need to import and then let's take x into um, boston dot data and y into boston dot target after that let's create the multiple regression by initializing the linear regression and then saying multi reg dot fit x comma y so execute that and then yes use the cross validation score on the multi reg comma x comma y so this this particular section or this particular one was really not necessary because that's what we are doing it over here so multi reg x comma y comma cv which is a cross validation so how many number of times you want to do the cross validation now it may be 5 it may be 10 it may be even 20 so it really depends on what number you specify but you should be really careful because if you are increasing the number that means it will take more and more time to iterate over the entire data and if your data set is large it will consume all of your resources and your overall time will be increased so let's go ahead and start with five so what i'll do is uh, i will just let's say go ahead and execute that okay so here is our default accuracy scores 0 0.63, 0 0.71, 0 0.58, 0 0.07, and a negative one. So what I can do is I can simply say mean, and this will give us overall average accuracy of 0.35. Now, if I want, I can also use the accuracy of my type. So what I mean is there is a parameter called scoring, and in scoring you can specify what you want so i want mean absolute error and for that the parameter is an ichi underscore mean absolute underscore error if i go ahead and execute and the problem with this is that you get the negative scores and that's what you would not expect with the mean absolute error because when you do the absolute of a value it gives you the positive values what we can do is and that's an issue with this uh, lin underscore score is equals to this and lin underscore lin underscore score underscore new is equals to negative so we are we are just doing is we are changing here and i will simply go ahead and so these are my scores 
for linear regression and if I just simply go ahead and so that's not the one L I M underscore score underscore n five I would expect five scores so here are my scores and if I want I can now mean it L I M underscore score so n and we need to use np dot mean because we are using the mean from the numpy library and that's basically my 4.25 based on looking at my uh, my specific uh, error type so you can look at the documentation for different types of accuracy scores that it has um, but the idea is that uh, you can use the cross validation to basically shift the uh, testing data at the multiple parts of your data set this way testing is happening on the entire data set and the accuracy score that you will get is uh, is the one that has been validated with the help of the entire data and not just one part of data which was happening over here so cross validation 5 is basically saying that it has divided your data set into five parts first it has used first part uh, as the testing and rest of the portion into the uh, training then in second one second part is used in testing and rest of the portion in the uh, training so on and so forth okay so what you need to do next well the next thing we need to do with the help of this is we have evaluated the linear regression now we can see and look at other reg regression method like uh, uh, random forest regression or other types of n number of regression methods that you have and you can evaluate uh, whether you are getting a score which is better than this if not then this is the method you should go ahead if and if it is uh, better in other methods then you need to pick that one so this way uh, you can do the model evaluation and that's the key and in next video I will show you how you can even tune the parameters so what it, what it means is basically um, if let's say you have five parameters and you want to add six parameter you want to see an effect whether adding a sixth parameter is really improving this score or not if it is improving it's worth adding it and if it is not then there is no point in adding the next parameter all right so i'll see you in the next video